Hey, I'm John with Smart Dots Robotic Solutions, and today I'm going to show you how we deal with the cutting assembly. Uh, right here, we've got a 450XH, which is a high cut model. So what we're first going to do is we're going to take off this top piece. We have a pretty low torque on here. And while you're doing this, you have to hold down pretty, pretty tight on the cutting deck right here so it doesn't spin and give you a cut on your hand. Let me pop these right off. Find a nice place to put them. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to take a look at this disc right here and you see how it's pretty dirty. We're going to go ahead and go outside and wash that. So we're getting this nice and cleaned up. It's just important to clean this part because it gets heavy and weighed down and puts more stress on the cutting motor. The next step is going to be to remove these old blades. Uh, I like to use a flathead just because it gives me a little more surface area. Hold onto this disc, turn tight. Uh, if the blades aren't chained super regularly, sometimes they're a little bit tighter. You want to make sure you put in a good amount of oomph to get them out. So once the blades are removed, you're going to give it a nice wipe down and clean. And then what we really want to focus on is sanding these screw spots right here. And we want to make sure that these are nice and clean for good connection with the screw because you don't want any gunk getting between the blade, causing it to spin unevenly or have a hard time doing its job. Now before we put the blades on, we're going to go ahead and remove this bearing. As you can see, it's spinning all right. Let's see if we can uh, get it a little bit more lubricated. Once this bearing is off, it's just held by this one large screw. We're gonna pick it up and check it out. You see, this one's pretty dirty. I'm gonna clean this off. You got spider eggs in there, lots of dust and dirt and debris. And all this is just gonna get it into that area and create more friction than necessary. Another part of cleaning is lubricating. So we get some WD-40, we sit it on top. And then I kind of just hold it like this for a second and let it seep down into the rest. You can already tell the difference in that bearing is night and day. All right, the cutting just looks nice. We're gonna go ahead and take it off. So that's three screws just at the top part. Again, here with low torque. Now see how dusty and dirty then? So we're gonna go ahead and scoop this out of here. Now you wanna check in here as well. It looks like all the dust collected on the cutting disc and now right here, but we're gonna go ahead and wipe this down real good. And now that we've got things cleaned up, we can go ahead and screw everything back together. Just make sure you're using a torque of 1 to 1.5 newton meters. That's what these screws are rated for. Make sure you grab this disc tight. Now once everything's back together, we're going to go ahead and put new blades on. You see your assembly spinning well. It's not making any noise or having any friction. Lined up. Now hold on to the discs. Give it a good turn. Make sure the blades. Now that concludes our cutting assembly service. Here at Smart Dots, we recommend you do this at least once a year to keep your mower in tip top shape. The cutting assembly and cutting motor are the hardest working part of your robotic lawnmower. Now please follow us so you can find out more tips and tricks on how to take care of your robotic lawnmowers.